Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James, and this week we're coming to you from the scuba paradise of Grand Cayman. Diving too into the waters. You've been waiting too long. Get in the water. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's James. Welcome to Divers Ready. If you love scuba diving as much as I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the little bell icon, and you'll never miss any of our content. Kind of a stormy morning here in Grand Cayman. Not unseasonally so, we're here in June, and thunderstorms are to be expected. It's super hot and super humid when it's not raining. So I'm about to head out for a dive with Dive Tech in West Bay, Grand Cayman. Uh, highly recommended, great operation. There's a link to Dive Tech's website in the description of this video below. But before I do, I want to give you 10 tips to help make your Grand Cayman scuba experience the best it can be. gentlemen here we go here are my top 10 tips for an enjoyable Grand Cayman scuba vacation tip number one is there are lots of dive shops on Grand Cayman and they don't all serve the same sites so to truly see everything feel free to hop between different shops it's okay to have your favorite dive shop I've got my favorite dive shop but do go around and try the others and get to experience all of the diving that Grand Cayman has to offer in addition the most reputable dive operators as you can tell from behind me offer a pickup service from all major resorts. Point numero dos. In my opinion, there are two iconic, world-class, cannot miss, absolutely don't come here and not dive them because you will regret it until the end of your days, dive sites in Grand Cayman. One is the wreck of the Kitty Wake. You can see my other video about the Kitty Wake above. The other is the North Wall. I'm also making a video about the North Wall. I'll put the link above there. Diver tip number three for Grand Cayman, consider your accommodation options. Of course, this island has everything from five-star hotels to bed and breakfast to guest houses, but really what your deciding factor should be for accommodation is which area of the island that you want to base yourself in. As I said before, you're going to want to try a bunch of different dive shops, so pick an area that has a concentration of dive shops and branch out and explore from there. If you're anywhere from Georgetown to West Bay, you've got plenty of dive operators to choose from and plenty of great dives to do. So point number four for diving in Grand Cayman is don't miss out on the shore diving. There isn't a lot of shore diving here, but the shore diving that there is, is spectacular. Each shore diving site is accompanied by a dive operator where you can pick up your tanks and weights. And the beautiful thing about shore diving is you can reach some of the same reefs that the boats serve anyway, and you can stretch your dive budget and make your dollars go further. Tip number five for diving Grand Cayman, rental gear is available everywhere. But if you have to make a purchase, you need to understand that prices are gonna be higher than you're used to back home due to higher import taxes. Tip number six for diving Grand Cayman, be conscious of the fact that most boat dive trips are gonna start with a deeper wall dive, 70, 90, 120 feet range. So check with your operator if you're booking a boat dive, if you have junior open water people with you or people who are scuba divers certified but not full open water to make sure that these dives are appropriate for them. Point number seven, consider the seasons. Thanksgiving to Easter is high season, meaning the island is busier. Unfortunately, the wind can be stronger, which means less dive sites are accessible. Easter to Thanksgiving, the weather's gonna be hotter, there's gonna be less wind, it's gonna be more humid on the island, but the island's also gonna be quieter and more dive sites are gonna be opened up. Tip number eight, the Cayman Islands Tourism Association strongly regulates scuba diving around the island. So that means that the standards of all operators has to be very high. There pretty much is no dodgy operators on this island. You're pretty safe with who you choose to go with. But it is a good idea to check with your dive operator if any of the regulations in Grand Cayman apply to you. For example, there's no solo diving anywhere in Grand Cayman, even if you have a solo diver certification. Point number nine for enjoying Cayman Island's best scuba diving is make sure you've got your nitrox certification. The best diving around this island is between 60 and 90 feet and that's really the prime zone for nitrox to extend your no decompression time. 
Last but not least, point number 10. The boat rides out to the deep dive sites are actually pretty short in the five to 10 minute range, which is fantastic if you don't enjoy boat rides and you suffer with the sickness of the sea, but it also means that you need to be organized and have all your gear together because otherwise you're gonna arrive to the dive site and if not, you're not ready to dive, you're gonna waste precious underwater time still setting your gear up. You ladies and gentlemen, we did it. 10 points, five minutes. I hope you enjoyed that guide to diving the Cayman Islands. We're about to be smashed by a massive squall right about now. Uh, so we're gonna go, I think it's beer o'clock actually. And I should also say, excuse me, I just gotta also say thank you to this man who has been my host, my dive model, my cameraman, my rigger, my location scout, uh, my costumer, and my drinking buddy during my whole adventure during Grand Cayman. What a way to send it off. We had an absolutely killer dive today. Uh, and now we're about to get rained on super heavy. So all that's left for me to say is don't forget to subscribe, click that bell icon so you never miss any of our content. It's beer time, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James, this is your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often. That's cool, man. That's it, in the back, like, no mess, no fuss. <laughs>